Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. On today's episode, we're going to finish our look at Romans chapter 11 by looking at Romans 11 verses 33 through 36. Follow along with me in your Bible as I read Romans 11 verses 33 through 36. Oh, the depth of riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and unfathomable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord, who who has become his counselor? Or who has first given to him that it might be paid back to him again? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. What awesome truth this is. This is a passage you may even have memorized. Lots of people at least know about this passage and turn to it so often in their thoughts and in their prayers, particularly in times of trouble. I want you to consider today as we look at it, and I just give you a few devotional thoughts on this. Think about it in context of what we've looked at over the last several episodes. This chapter has been devoted to talking about God's plans for Israel, God's plans to redeem a remnant of Israel and to eventually redeem all of Israel just as he has promised. And yesterday, as that argument or that section of Paul's thinking comes to a culmination, it came to it in this glorious truth that God's promises cannot be revoked. That what he has promised to Israel cannot be turned back on because God keeps all his promises. Is it any wonder after that, after Paul starts by thinking about his grief for his countrymen and thinks about how God still has a plan for his countrymen, about how God is using the hardening, the temporary hardening of the Jews to allow for the Gentiles to come to faith and how he's using the Gentiles to come to faith to make Israel jealous so that they might turn to him in faith and that ultimately his promises will be kept because God's promises are always kept. As he comes to the culmination of that thinking, he says, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and unfathomable his ways. What awesome truth this is, friends. And as I've mentioned, as we've gone through this chapter, I want you to remember this in light of evangelism, in light of those that you have been evangelizing evangelizing and telling about Jesus for a long time. Trust in God. Trust in his ways. And not only that, But as you trust in him, as you consider his promises, as you know that his promises will eventually come to pass, worship him for his glorious, glorious ways. It's amazing to me that Paul enters, or ends rather, this section, this thought with this great doxology, for from him and through him and to him are all things, to him be the glory forever, amen. Friend, let me remind you again, Think about this in terms of evangelism. When you talk to people about Jesus, when you endure long in talking to people about Jesus and it seems like they're hardened, it seems like they're not coming, always remember that your efforts in evangelism should have one aim, the glory of God. Because he gets glory in every aspect of salvation. For from him and through him and to him are all things To him be the glory forever. Amen. For next time you go to share the gospel with that person that you've been sharing the gospel with a long time, take a time, take a moment just to pray and ask the Lord that his glory would be your focus, that his glory would be your aim in speaking the gospel truth to that person and continue to pray for them and continue to endure and continue to trust in God for his promises to come to pass. And remember, friend, then it is all to his glory. I love you, Grace community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.